So yeah, as you guys know, it's a lot of projects going on with this car. Um, school is starting up, so the videos won't be pushed out as much. But I'm gonna try my best to do as you know as most video as much videos as I as I can. As pa you know, I, I can't even say what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is it's gonna be kind of hard because you know school is going up soon, so I can't be able to work on this car all day every day. Because you know, about two days of recordings, about 20 minutes of footage you guys get. So it's gonna it's gonna be harder. But regardless, we're gonna we're gonna keep working. We're gonna try to push through the summer, and we're gonna see um, what I can do for you guys when school starts. Turn this off real quick. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you guys saw me right there, I ended up finding out that the the fiber optic cables. The, I think the reason why they didn't work is because they were the it wasn't fully looped. There was an extra cable that was not for my car. The other car had like an extra Bluetooth system, something like that, an extra like iPod system, and the uh, fiber optic cables I saw was an extra extension, and it was going off to that other um, system. So what I went ahead and did is I just unwired that and I'm going to directly plug it into my CCC. Right now, um, I'm, I'm going to try my best to wrap the cables underneath the carpet. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to cut the carpet from the side. Um, but I'm going to cut it in a way to where you won't see it if the center console is in and it won't come out unless the center console has been removed. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm just going to try to wrap the cables into the dash. If I can do that one, that's going to be the hardest one. Everything else should, you know, just work out. I mean, I do need to do some wiring, which is, you know, but uh, let's go ahead and try to route these cables underneath the carpet and hopefully we can get them results that we want. Alright guys, please don't mind the fan. I am dying here. Um, I got the wires as you can see from right here. I got the green wires traced down there underneath the carpets. I got it clipped in there. There's a little clip which is perfect and then I wrapped it up here. Um, unless you take this carpet off, it's kind of hard to put drag the wires up into the center console. I mean up into the CCC system. So basically what I did is I dragged them up here. I ended up cutting the carpet. Put back this plastic piece which is not sitting on perfectly right but who cares uh, and then I, I put a little hole for the wires to come back out of it and then go behind it so all this is going to be covered up and uh, no one's going to see a thing right here so this is all good i got it also wired up over there i got rid of this extra extension stuff which is great this is uh, you know not needed unless you have some extra uh you know features so i got that out took out the loop plugged it in i think the wiring here is perfect now I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, again, sorry if, uh, for the wind noise. I'm going to go ahead and try to wire these. I'm going to tap them into whatever wires are coming out of here. So hopefully those are the right ones. Uh, like I said, guys, now that I have these green wires routed perfectly, I even plugged it into that. I need these wires to tap in so you can get some power. Um, so I'm going to have to cut all this, uh, you know, all that tape around the wires and just tap them in there cover that up, cover all this up. Hopefully that all the, you know, the trim pieces will fit in perfectly. And then that should all be hooked up OEM. Um, and then yeah, the wires all traced up OEM. So hopefully I shouldn't have any fiber optic issues after hook all this up. Obviously I got some wiring in the back, but that is a whole lot easier. I like getting done with all the garbage stuff first. So I know in the end, you know, that's a lot more doable and I have a peace of mind. I don't want to have a car that I feel like it's, it's disabled. Like I don't want to have, I don't want to have a car that you know it doesn't it doesn't have something because of what it's been through. I want to be able to say that I fixed everything. Now I can't really say that for sure. I don't have no guarantee that this is even gonna work, but I'm just trying my best and I'm really hoping for the best here. I have no diagram to go off of, but let's hope for the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire these. The battery's about to die, so I don't think I'm gonna catch this in for you guys. Once I wire it, I'll show you guys before I put all the plastic pieces. Alright guys, so at this point I've went ahead and I've installed all the you know the pieces, the trim pieces and everything for the door. 
put in the carpets, put in the speaker, rewired everything that needed to be wired, put, uh, you know, routed the fiber optic cables to the dash. So the front end, which is the hardest part, has been done. So I'm super happy about that. Now, it's time to get into the trunk and rewire all the stuff in the trunk, put all that stuff back together. Um, for the interior, I'm probably gonna end up swapping the brown interior in here where I'm already, you know, the center console is the hardest thing, like I said, so I might as well put the brown interior in here, um, which I probably, I don't know, we'll see about that. But let's just go ahead and set you guys up so you guys can see um, the process of wiring the rear. Um, it's getting, The reason why I say it's easy is the same exact amount of time I have to spend, but look at the room you have rather than having to be on the ground and working on it when you're on the ground. It's such a pain. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. I wanna get all this wiring done, and at least if something doesn't work, like the, the music system still doesn't work, at least I know the fiber optic cables are in, all the wiring is in the car, everything is you know wired properly, so there's something mechanically wrong with it, not, not have to do with anything electri electrically, if that's how you say it. I just wanna make sure all the wiring is good, and then if, any, if the speakers still don't work, then it has, I already replaced the fuses, it has to be either the CCC, the Bluetooth system, or the, the amp, so it has to be one of those after I do all these wiring, because uh, the wiring should be good. Let me just set you guys up real quick. Alright guys, so I took a little bit of a break and now we're back outside in the garage, went out to eat with fam and stuff like that. Something I did realize um, as I, you know, was like heading out, I was like, you know what, let me check these wires real quick. And I, I started to think, I was like, yo, just in case this stuff doesn't work, you need to check your wiring one more time. So I just went ahead and wired those. I haven't used any, um, iron, I didn't iron it yet and I didn't actually wrap it with electrical tape yet, nor did I do that one either. So I gotta do both of those real quick. And there's something I noticed also um, while I was checking all these wires over here is that these two, which just so happened to go to the Bluetooth system, are cut as well, they're spliced. They were hiding it the other way around, the cables were twisted the other way around where the black was covering it. So I didn't realize they were spliced. And I see some wires in there that possibly are cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these, strip them down, wire them pr uh, properly, um, you know, and after soldering all this and everything, we're gonna go ahead and put the everything in the car and start it up. Now, worst comes to worst, I don't, I can't figure this out. I'm gonna reach out to Blake's Garage, he's an electrician. Um, he knows a little bit about wiring, actually a lot about wiring. Um, so I'm hoping he can help me at least, you know, get a guide and help me trace all the wires and just check if each wire is properly where it needs to be. But we're gonna diagnose it as much as we can we're just hoping, fingers crossed, after I do this wiring, solder everything, put the electrical tip and everything, put everything where it needs to be, it should work. It should, according to this dude. So, I got some electrical tape because I happened to uh, lose mine, so that's why I had to take a break in the first place. I don't like going to the store all sweaty, so I had to take a shower and then took a little bit of a break. But yeah, we're back at it again. I'm gonna set you guys up. We're gonna try and go ahead and solder all these wires up, and then uh, we can only pray at this point. Alright guys, so it turns out, I didn't know inside this black tube there was more wires. So I ended up wiring these four wires that's within this one wire. And there's two more wires within this black wire back here which I'm going to go ahead and wire. And I noticed that all that goes down to the SOS box which is what I'm getting the air for. And I'm hoping this will allow me to run music. Now I did end up doing a whole new fiber optics layout like I told you guys. Ended up wiring it like OEM all across the entire car as you guys can see. But I just want to make sure uh, and I checked here and I noticed that there is some ripped wires and there are some ripped fiber optics but these really don't matter. I'm not going to go through the entire harness and rip those out. I just put in the new fiber optics and rather the new ones. I really don't care about removing the old ones. But yeah, so right in a soldered are these guys right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some electrical tape and then put some electrical tape to seal them all together. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the other one. And then once we do that, 
Uh, I think we're good to go on testing out the speakers, honestly. I'm hoping to God, you know? All right, guys, so I went ahead and wired all that stuff. Went ahead and wired this. Uh, I'm sorry if everything's dark, guys. You know, it's, it is kind of laid out, but you guys know me. I can't I can't stop the grind for y'all. Let me actually pull out my flashlight. Um, so I also got the wiring done on that. Went ahead, wired in the new, uh, new you know, fiber optic cables, and uh, pretty much tapped in with the other wires and just wired those all together. Used the original harness, of course, um, because that's a lot of wires, and I try and deal with that. And uh, all the wiring there has been good. Everything looks good. It's that, it's that one moment where if you hear a chiming sound, it's probably the best sound you can probably hear in your entire life at this point. All right, now that we have a little bit more light, let's go ahead and go inside the car, put the keys near the ignition. Like I said, guys, we can only hope for the best. Damn, so far nothing. Um, let's go ahead. All right, guys, so I do have some good news. I'm actually super psyched, I just found this out. There's no sound, but if you guys come on over here, you can go ahead and go to the control messages. It's really hard to lean over here and do all this. Um, control messages, click on that. If you scroll down, there's no SOS light. Which I'm pretty sure could mean my amp is out, not the SOS. So let's go, to go ahead, um, plug in the other amp, and hope for the best here. All right guys, so I don't have an SOS light, which that means that thing can probably mean, I mean, it's finally getting signal at least. Because SOS light was up, now it's no longer there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I wasn't there when I turned on the car. Just plugged in the new amp that I picked up for really low. I'm hoping that amp has no problems. I'm going to go ahead and connect the battery and go inside the car and just, again, hope for the best. All right, guys, we're going inside the car now. Uh, I set down my phone. All right, guys, please, God. Okay, still nothing. I don't think so. All right, still looks like there's nothing because I don't hear the door chim or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the loop on. Uh, let's just, let's check. Let me start, try to start up the car real quick and let's check if the SOS light is back or not. All right, so this thing looks like it has power SOS, but it did have power last time. So if we go over here, scroll up. Actually, I think we can. Oh, I don't have the control doggle hooked up. Damn. Whatever, let's just go ahead and go to control. We got airbag, gas. Okay, I don't see SOS, which could either be a good sign or a bad sign, but I still have no audio. I did hook up all that stuff down there, routed it, hooked it up to this, hooked it up over there, plugged it into all of that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start using that resistor, that yellow little wire you guys see down there. Um, that is a loop. Basically, it uh, it just sends the signal back through the wire. So we're gonna go ahead and try that on this cape, this um, box right there, and then go ahead and try it over there on the amp to see if any of those are not working. I went ahead and put the loop in for the amp. Darn, and no chiming sound still. So the loop is in the SOS system now. Let's go ahead and give this car power again. Bismillah. Still no sound. Okay, this is really getting frustrating here. I have no idea what can possibly be the issue. All right guys, so unfortunately, we did not actually find the problem for my sound system not working, but we did get a little bit closer. We did get the SOS system to register, which means that the Bluetooth communications are there, which means that, you know, the Bluetooth system is probably working. I did check the, the ethernet, not the ethernet, the fiber optic cables all the way around to make sure that the light was passing through and it was. So fiber optics are now perfect on this car. So we are getting things done, guys. We got the fiber optics in there. We got the SOS light to go away with some wiring that I found that was, you know, cut. There probably is one extra wire somewhere that could be, you know, cutting off the audio to the entire car. Or what I was thinking, the CC system could be messed up. Or what I was thinking is that the CCC system needs to be registered or updated. I have a feeling it has to do with the CCC system at this point. Mainly because the loop is not doing anything according to the online um, forums. If any guys have any, if you guys know anything about this, if you guys work at BMW, you know that you know if, if the CC system is not registered, maybe you know that's causing my audio problems. That would be great. If you guys can help me out in any way, that'd be great. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. That would really help me. I'm spending a lot of time with the recording and the editing and all that stuff with this build over that. I'm working till you guys can see late, late night. Doing my best to get you guys this footage every two days. 
I enjoy it. You guys, I can see, are enjoying it. If you guys could just smash the like button, that would mean the world. And that brings this video to an end. So remember to stay humble, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to pick up your decals. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy, you know.